Hey guys, Prime here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to enable the keyboard functions on your Mac so that you can go in Minecraft, use coordinates, go in F5 mode, and enable smooth scrolling. So you're going to go down to System Preferences, you're going to click that, and this window will open up. You're then going to click on Keyboard, and you'll see right here, it'll say use all F1, F2, etc. keys as standard function keys. You're going to want to click it and make sure there's a check in the box. That's all you need to do. Now you can close out, open up your Minecraft, and once it opens up, you'll be able to use the F3 key to um, open up coordinates and direction so as you see if I just sort of if I press F3 I'll have the X Y and Z come up to show my coordinates and below that it'll say the direction I'm facing and if you look at that that will change as I turn below that you can see your location right now I'm in in a extreme hills biome. Press F3 again to make that go away. Now when you press F5 you'll get a view as if a camera was clamped to your back and you can see pretty much a bigger peripheral view. Pressing it again will make it so you can see the front and so you can zoom up to a wall if you need to see something close but it's pretty much a good way to check your back especially in something like the Hunger Games if you have someone behind you you can press F5 still be running and see how close they are pressing F5 one more time will bring you back to your original camera position the next key is F8 pressing F8 will make it so the camera slowly and smoothly rolls around Right now, I'm erratically moving my mouse around, and it's very smoothly scrolling around. Pressing F8 again will bring you back to your normal view. And this sort of slow view is also seen in Optifine. You can add different types of viewpoints to yourself. You can have the back view and press F8, and it, your camera will slowly rotate around you. So one of my favorite features though is F1. Now when you press F1 you'll see your hotbar disappears, your hand disappears, and the crosshairs disappear on your screen. So after pressing F1 you can still place and destroy blocks with ease but it adds a um, nice view if you want to press F1 and then you can press F8 and you can get a nice slow smooth view of something so it's really good if you and your friend are on a multiplayer server and you're recording something for him so after to get out of this you just press F1 again so to recap F1 toggles on and off your view F3 should open coordinates. F5 changes your view. And F8 slows down your cursor. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please check out some of my other videos. And don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. See ya!